Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. So now we're going to do the brand new yellow game, King of Monster Island, <laughs> which is a standalone in the King of Tokyo universe, or King of New York for that matter too. Mm. Now this is one of the five players, so you can play solo, but it's also cooperative, and it's ages 10 and up, takes 45 to 60 minutes. With two players, we're probably only going to, in playing an easy mode here, it may only take about 15 minutes to play. Now we're going to do more than one playthrough here. Uh, we're going to do how to play and play through with this video, and then in another video we'll play the hardest one and see how much the game crushes us. <laughs> now one thing you're going to see is that the yellow stands this time, uh, they're made a little differently. They don't have grippers inside it, so we had to put sticky notes on here to prevent them from falling out. So if you see that, that's so that they don't slip out. That was our solution to that. Maybe somebody has a better idea. So in the game here, we have to defeat uh, one of three boss monsters that we can choose from. And if they open up three pylons, they open up a portal to, I don't know if it's another universe or dimension, I don't remember which, and the, uh, their minions will come in and destroy the world. So you start the boss in a random space on the board, and then each pick a uh, monster, and work together or on the same team and you put them in different spaces. Now we don't, because we know how this boss works, we don't want to start in the space next to him because he gets to attack. You know, we better lay these down to see. Okay, sure. Uh, we start in the, uh, he gets an, a free attack in the same space or adjacent space. So we're starting one space away. So I am H-A-D-E-S, Hades, which is like a robot. And Julie is Purple Rain. Purple Rain. So we start out with 10 life and zero fame. Now you can go up above 10 life, just like in King of Tokyo, if you get cards to enhance. And you use fame to get helpers. And, and uh, so there is a, a helper pile here. I don't know if they're called helpers in the rule book. Uh, allies. Allies. So there's... One, two, three, four, five, six helpers. Allies. So, allies, sorry. As soon as you get one fame, you pick one of these. And if you go drop down to zero, you I don't know how you would lose fame. There, there's events in mm. here. But if you drop down to zero, you lose your allies and you can get a different one. There's also a reference sheet in the back, which isn't very helpful because if you're looking at it, you might want that ally. Mm -hmm. uh, just to give you an idea how, they, how this one works, for instance, if you have one fame, you get to, you can use attacks, no, stars. Is that a star? Yeah, it's a star. Yeah, it's so, so small. Star as wrenches. Now, there's, you'll see there's going to be two new faces on these dice here. Then when you get five, you get another ability. When you get 10, another one, 15, and 20, which means you can use all of them below it. So once you have 20, you get access to all those abilities. So once you see us get our first fame, we'll be able to uh, pick an ally. Now, <clears throat> there are three, like I said, um, bosses. The blue sides are the easiest. This is the easiest of the three. And then when you get really want, oh. you can play the other side here. And they too, the bosses as well, get fame. And it starts out with five boss dice. That's what that five means, it has 15 health. So you'll see that the, the boss uh, I guess you would call it a character card. Has a dial here for the tens place. Oh, okay. okay. And a dial here for the ones place. Oh, nice. And then here's where you keep track of the fame, just like on all, all monsters. So it's set up to be 15. Now, if you were playing the harder side, it would be 25 and oh have gosh. six dice instead of five dice. Uh, and it starts out with, it looks at its before movement phase, so at the very beginning of the boss's turn, which comes after each player, it, like I mentioned, it will deal one damage to the monsters with the most health in this or adjacent zone. So if we're tied for the most health and we're in the same zone or next to him, we'll each take a uh, lose a life. <clears throat> so that's where, that's the boss we're playing. We have the five dice, because we're going to drop the dice into this volcano, and that's going to be what he's going to use to uh, get more minions to place crystals. I'll explain why that's important. So that's a, if you if he goes to a zone with a crystal, he'll place it. 
This is where he'll place a minion and get a fame, and that means he can get more abilities. And what was the other one? That's pretty much it. Minions, fame, and placing crystals. So when he gets three crystals in a zone, a pylon comes up. And remember, we lose when three pylons uh, come up. I should lay these down so you can see them as well. <laughs> uh, you get three pil uh, when three pylons come up, you lose. If either one of us loses our life, the game is over, and we start out with ten. And you'll see there's 30 minions in here. And if we go to draw a minion and we can't draw one, we lose. Now, when we do destroy minions, they go back in the bag. So we just got to make sure that there's not 30 out on the board. Now, let's take a look at what the minions do. They help out the boss. So this one, for instance, when it, uh, the boss will move to a space where the dice are. I'll, see, I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. If, if the boss can. Then when the boss gets to that space, it will, the end minions will activate. So this minion will attack every monster in that space for one. Uh, each monster in this zone takes one damage. So that's the easiest one. It only has one health. This one here will generate a crystal. And if three crystals get in a zone, that's how you get a pylon. So you want to destroy those, but those have two health. This one right here is really nasty. If the boss goes into this zone, all monsters on the island, no matter where they are, will take one damage. Oof. So you want to get rid of these cannons as quick as possible. However, this one doesn't do anything except protect other minions and the boss. So the way if you do attack a space with the boss, because how you win is you got to defeat the boss and remove, and remove all the boss's health. You first have to take out a shield, which if there is a shield in that space, you have to do three damage to it. And then you have to take out any of the other minions that might be there before you can damage the boss. So as long as there's minions in there, you have to take them out. And if there is a, a shield there, you have to take out the shield minion before you can take out other minions. So in terms of setup here, we, start, we started out the boss here in one space in that zone. And now you place minions in randomly one per space. So here is a, uh, what do they call that? A builder. Here is a soldier. Another soldier here where I am. <coughs> a, another soldier there. There's more soldiers than anything. Makes sense that there would be. Yeah. Uh, here's a shield in that space. And oh, a cannon. So that's the setup. We also do three cards like in regular King of Tokyo. You can buy these cards uh, by spending energy. And there's also events in there. There's positive events and negative events. And so if you do draw one of these at the very beginning of the game, you just shuffle them back in. So here is a positive event. And they, you know, you, you reveal them, uh, carry them out, and then you draw another one to, to uh, because if you're drawing uh, power-ups, well, what are they call? I forget what these car, car, cards are called. You can look that up. Sure. But anyways, you draw an event, and then once you carry out the event, you draw another card. And you could get multiple events. So here's an example of a negative event right here. So I just wanted to have those out to show you. Now I'm going to put them into, if you look at the very beginning, I'll probably tell you the yeah, type of piece. Yeah, it's not. Uh, here we go. Uh, it's an ally sheet. I'm looking for them, honey. They, they don't, don't have, have them a right component away. thing, huh? No. Yeah, I couldn't remember what the cards are called. All right, so I shuffled those up because I took out two events. Now you'll see. Okay. This, yeah. Oh, power cards. They are called yep. power cards. Okay, so there's one more component that you see here. <clears throat> These are ships, and they're all upside down right now because you can use wrenches. That's the, the new face on here, the wrench. If you spend three wrenches, you can get one of these uh, ships to help you from, from uh, the Earth. From Earth. And uh, I'm trying to remember what they're, what they're called. They're called support ships. And unfortunately, when a pylon goes up, they cover up one of these support ships. So you could have multiple pylons in the same zone. You don't mm -hmm. have to have a pylon you know, in a different zone. The, the, the boss could build three and, and win the game in the same zone. But each time a pylon is built, it will cover up one of these support ships. And the support ships, when you, when you do spend the wrenches, you can use it right away. So for instance, if you use this, you get you do two damage and you get an energy and then it flips over and then a future turn 
uh, another player can activate it to be used in a following turn. So you, when you reactivate it, you can't use it in the same turn you reactivate it. But when you do, re, when you do generate it with your wrenches, you get to use it the same turn. Uh, so another rule, so that takes three wrenches and four wrenches, and there's two in each space. And there'll be helpful things that you can use. Another thing you do is that we will be rolling six dice. And if you don't want to use all your dice, you can bank them in spaces where there's no crystals. And you can bank up to three dice per space, which means you or your ally, your monster allies, can use them on a future turn. However, if there's, let's say we have two, three banked here, and the boss puts a, a crystal there, one of these dice will have to come off. Mm. Uh, so you'll lose banked dice there. Now let's say you've banked, we banked two here, and we banked two over here, and one over here, and we only have five dice. Well, you're supposed to roll six, that means you're going to have to take off a banked die from somewhere else. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the, the turn sequence. And there's a couple other little minor rules that are different. So what's going to go is uh, we're going to check the boss's active power right away. He'll be able to damage one of us in the same space or adjacent space that has the most health. We'll roll the available boss dice in the first turn. It will be all five. And then when it uses them, it will be able to re-roll them in future turns. Then you'll move the boss. I'll explain how movement works uh, in a moment. And then you activate minions in the boss's zone. So they'll attack us if they can, like the cannon, and activate... Uh, uh, boss dice in the boss's zone. So actually, that uh, we did that out of order. That comes mm -hmm. that comes last. So I'm glad I read that. Yeah. The first two games we played, we were activating them right away. Uh, so here, you'll notice there's, there's a new rule here uh, with energy. So when you do use energy dice, you get one for one. But then when you have two, you get three. Three is six, four is ten, and five is fifteen. If you do happen to roll six energy, you'll get fifteen plus one, so it'd be 16 you could get. Now you see there's a, 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 a footprint. You can use it to do one damage or move one to move one monster in your zone. So you could use it to, uh, if we're both in the same zone, you could move an ally if you really wanted to. And then here's where you spend wrenches. Now interesting thing with fame, you could use them to, of course, improve your fame or to remove a boss die. But the problem with that could be that the boss will get to re-roll them at the end of their turn. You forgot, sweetie, the handprint that we get two Yeah, you get damage. two attack, you're mm -hmm. right, two damage. <clears throat> and then, uh, so we roll six, we'll resolve them, and we can buy power cards at the end of the turn. Now our free action is activating and recharging support tiles, and then locking and unlocking dice that have been saved, for instance. Uh, so how does a monster move? Well, we're going to explain that as we're playing. <laughs> now this is probably the most confusing part of the game. Yes. So, the boss has five dice. Now we're going to drop them in, and if a, if a die rolls off, you just redrop it in the in the uh, volcano. In the volcano, correct. So here, we'll just go to this camera here. Okay. Make it more exciting. Oof. So one die did come off. So we're going to drop it back in. And by the way, the volcano does go together. It's cardboard. It's two pieces of plastic that you put in the middle here. So you'll see right away that one die went here, one die went here, and three dice here. The way the movement rolls are is that the boss monster will go to the space, adjacent space that has the most dice. Mm -hmm. If it's tied, it goes to the space with the most dice and minions. And let's say it's a space where it has, they're tied for most dice and minions, then it goes clockwise. Now if there's no uh, minions or dice, in a space, it just moves one space clockwise, which is, we, we played that wrong too. Mm. All right, so obviously it's going here. <clears throat> yep. Okay, because there's three, three, three dice there. We act, uh, well, first off, it got its power. Mm -hmm. Its power is it attacks a monster in the same zone or adjacent. We're not near it, so it doesn't do it. It goes here, and it activates the, uh, we move the boss, mm -hmm. we activate the minions, which is the cannon, we each take a life. Okay. So we're both down to nine. And now it uses the dice. So it's actually going to be a little easier now that we're doing this in the proper order. Uh, now we activate the dice in the boss's zone. So it gets a crystal. Okay. So it's one space closer. I'll put it over here. Okay, honey. It's one space clo uh, 
It needs two more. Okay. So that die comes off. It will reroll it next turn. It gets two fame. Oh, that's just not that's not good because now it's going to get another power. It's going to get fast movement, which means now. You know, remember what I said? If there's no dice in the adjacent zone, mm -hmm. it will move just one zone. Now it's going to move to a zone uh, with a die, so it could skip zones now. Oh boy. So uh, before it got this power up, it would just move one space if there was no die in an adjacent zone. Okay, so and then it places two minions. You draw out of the bag, and we place them. Oh, it's got a shield. That's nasty. Oh, boy. And another cannon. How do we get rid of these, honey? We don't. We don't. Unless okay. there's some event cards that allow you to do it. Okay. So we can go, not event cards, but power <coughs> cards. Okay, this power card says here, and it's a keep, a discard, and a keep. Okay. This one says, once per turn, you can double the effect of a die you unlocked. Uh, this is a discard. Uh, all monsters move to your zone and gain two life, including you. Healing Aura. Monsters in your zone gain plus one health when they gain health. Uh, so that's a keeper that's permanent. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right, so the boss just went, so mm -hmm. I'm going to go now. Okay. And that's not very helpful because I don't want to go over there and attack you him. You need feet. Now, if I do get uh, fame, I can get an ally. Well, at least keep one fame and then reroll and maybe get some feet. Yeah. I could also get a bunch of heal, but sure. see, if he if he stays there, that's the only problem. So yeah, I'll um, just do one thing. Okay. Get up to three rolls of second round game. I do have a movement. There you go. Oh. Uh, not very helpful. Not helpful at all. Okay. Well, I'll get the one fame. Okay. You can at least get rid of that minion. Yeah, and then I'm going to get... <laughs> I like the, the army. army. Yeah, you do. I like... Let me sh tell you why I like the army one. Because once you get one fame, you get one damage to a single attack on your turn. And then when I get five fame, you can attack... may attack adjacent. Nice. So that's nice. Uh, so I'll put this down here. Okay. So I've used my fame. Mm -hmm. I'll heal. Okay. And I could heal you in the same space, but you're not in the same space I'm not as in the me. Same space. Uh, I'll use my my allies to take get rid of that minion. Because you used a foot. Yeah. Well, no, I use my ally. I'll move here. Oh, that's right. I move. Mm -hmm. I use my foot to get this minion. Good. And then I'll just guess I'll just keep a wrench here. It doesn't hurt. Yeah, I would. Okay. Because you never know. We could get two okay. more there and. All right, your turn. Okay. All right, well, it's coming for you. Yep. Because it has two dice there. Yep. And it has that shield there. So first, before it moves, it does one damage to you because okay. you're adjacent. Because that's right. its power. And so it's going to move here. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, the minion activates, but it's a shield. All it does is protect it. Okay. It gets three fame. Oh, boy. So now it's got five fame. Oh my gosh! What does it do now? Uh, it says here if if I make it's done in first person. I if I make a monster in an adjacent zone lose health. Okay, if if I make a monster in a, an adjacent zone lose my health, it is pushed one zone away from me. So now, when it does its before moving it's sharp fist, that's what it has. It's going to push us away, which means we got to spin dice to move to its zone, and it gets another minion here. Well, at least you can try another flipping shield. Darn it, Jim. Okay, well, you get six dice. Okay. You got an attack and a foot. You want to keep those? Yeah. We just In this version, we just like to crush them as quick as possible. I'm going to roll them one time. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, well, it's still not going to mm. be enough. We do get one fame, so go ahead and get that. Oh, okay. Reason why I'm saying it's not enough. Now, do we have something that can do damage in the first turn? No. You can do the med bots if you keep at least one health for your roll, gain one extra health. Sure. Okay, yeah. Let's do the med bots. So let okay. me put it over here for you. 
Thank you. Because you did get a health. I did. Do so I now, take it off now, that health? Because I bought this? No, you keep your fame. Oh, I keep it. Because the fame, <clears throat> the more fame you get. Oh, okay. The more powers you get here. Gotcha. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, hang on. I got to move this over. Or we got to move it down. There we go. Now you can see your fame. You know, fame. Mm-hmm. And just recently, that uh, singer passed away. Uh, was fame. it David Bowie? No, you're, I'm talking the movie Fame. Oh, and, yeah, Irene Cara. And, and Flashdance. Yeah. All right. So you got your two health, right? Yes. Because your ally gives you a plus one health. Oh, wait. I have to go up. Yeah, I didn't two. think you did. That's why I'm asking. Okay. Okay, you'll bank the wrench. All right. I'll put it down here. The okay. board gets a little busy here. Now you have two, four, five damage. So I can at least get more one. Yes? Yeah, unless you want to move once so you can do... Yeah. Because I can't attack him at all, correct? No, it's too bad okay. you didn't do enough. Now, you have you can split up damage between two different things, but you have to resolve the die before you do another die. Because I was thinking you could, you know, do f four damage, go in here and do one damage, but you can't split it. So, yeah, all you did is get rid of a shield. Now, should I move two? Move away? Oh, yeah, you should. Well, you can go here, maybe. Okay. Only reason why is because uh, we want to get rid of those cannons. Right. And we don't know where he's going yet. Okay. okay next turn, I drop two dice in. Well, he's going to you again. Darn it. So, because the reason why he's going to you, because it's tied for the most die. Mm -hmm. He could stay in his zone and it acts like he, he lands there to get any effects. Mm -hmm. uh, but because it's tied for the most boss dice is going to go to the zone with the most minions. Oh, okay. Before he moves, he uh, hits you for one and All pushes right. you away okay. because of his uh, power-up he got. Now he moves in here. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. the cannons is going to do two damage to each of us. Wow. I'm the, I have only, I have eight. I have um, seven. Okay. And the sh shield protects him. He gets another fame. Do He's, not both of those hit us, honey? Yeah, I said two. Oh, that's why you've got okay. two. Okay. And he gets another minion. Oh, Joe. Okay, you know the soldier. Okay. All right, here I go. Now, are we allowed to get those guys before we get the three? Or do you we have, have to get, to get the, get the shield first. You have to get the shield first. Okay. Okay. Now, by the way, you can cycle out the power cards by spinning two energy. Okay. I did forget to mention that rule. Let me move these out of the way so we don't get confused. Okay, I got plenty of movement. Good. I, I want to get over there and crush him. Thank you. It's not a lot of space here where I zoom in. Oh, let's move your guy. Sure. Oh, oh look nice. At that. Nice, nice, nice. And then the wrench. Uh, All right, well, I'll take an energy. Okay. At least I have sure. one to use. So I'm going to move two. Okay. Boom, boom. Okay. Yep. And I do five. Well, first off, I use my. Al well, I got to damage the. Uh, the protect. This is your, do one damage to a single, into a single attack on your turn. Okay, well, I still have to target the the shield, so I do one, plus two. That's three. Okay. There are three more minions here. Mm -hmm. At least we got rid of the cannons. Wonderful. Good job. Okay. <clears throat> and I have one energy which I can't spend. Okay. So we're there. All right. Okay, do the one boss die. Okay. Where did it go? Over here, sweetie. Okay. So it's way over, over here. here. Yeah, it's two stars. All right, so it has a choice here. Oh, I see. It can go here. Mm -hmm. it's, e it's equal to the number of boss dice. Mm -hmm. It has an equal number of minions. Mm -hmm. So it goes clockwise. But before it does that, it, it, it does its before move attack. How much health do you have? I have eight. I have seven. So it hits me. Okay. And because I have the most, and so now I'm down to seven. All right. And it pushes me away. Oh. Now it goes to your space. Okay. And because uh, it goes clockwise. Correct. Okay. And it's it uh, activates this minion, so it got a crystal here. Oh. Okay, and then it gets two minions in this space. Ah, okay. Okay, hey, well, but at least you're there. I'm there. Yeah. Oh wow. Another, well, I can take those out, maybe. Another. A builder and another soldier. Okay, your turn. 
the roll right here, mm -hmm. okay? Oh, cool. And remember, if you keep, oops, if you keep a, uh, a health, yeah. you go up to. Well, you might as well reroll and see if you get it. Okay. If you get two more rerolls. And then roll again, because it's better just to kill this guy. Oh, right, sorry, so, honey. It's okay, you got energy. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay. And yeah, I'll stick it on my board. Okay. And so put that away. We used it. So two, four, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight damage. Mm -hmm. This is five. Yeah. And you do three to him. Woohoo! Let me make sure that's the right amount. Okay. Two, four, six. Yeah, eight. All right, very good. And so we did uh, three to him, right? Three. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's down to 12. Okay. Okay, now I go. All right. Oh, he's going over there. But before he goes, he hits you for one and pushes okay. you away. Now, it doesn't say which direction you can push him in. Uh, it doesn't say if it's clockwise. It's push one zone away from me. In the, okay, if I make a monster in a Jason zone lose a health, it is pushed one zone away from me. So I messed up. I was in the same zone, wasn't I? When mm -hmm. it pushed me. So it didn't push me. Okay. So I misread that. It, it's only, if it's a, so since it's in the same zone as you, mm -hmm. it's not going to push you. Okay. But I have seven health. How much health do you have? Because I, he just made me lose a health. I have six. Okay, we both have seven, right? No, you told me to take a Okay, I understand hit. that. Before I said that, we both had seven. Yes. Before we did it. Yes. Okay, so we both get hit. Okay. And it does push me now. <laughs> okay. So that's unfortunate. And it pushes you. You might as well be up here with him. It pushes me even though I'm in the same room with him? Oh, no, you don't. You're right. Thank you. Or not room, but Same area. zone. Yeah, zone. you're right. It does not push you. Okay. So thank you for correcting me. You're welcome. It goes here. Uh, it pushed me because I was in a, uh, and I need to lose a life. Okay. I almost forgot to do that. Uh, it's only adjacent zones that it pushes one away. Okay. It goes here. It doesn't. There's no minions there, but it draws three. Oh, brother. One, two, a cannon. A oh builder. my gosh, one of each. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, and Hopefully it's my turn. Hopefully, you get over right? there. Yes, it's your turn. Sweetie. I don't know if I can. It's a lot of feet to go. You need three feet. I think I'll just kill them. I'll just go kill minions if I have to. Sure. Okay. Well, I'll get a, a fame. Okay. And then uh, I'll bank the wrench. Okay. Was there already a wrench there? Yes, there was. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have two wrenches there. Mm -hmm. Well, I should kill this shield yes, in case he comes I around. Yes, I think so. Well, I can use one die because I use my I use my army to do one damage. Okay. I'll move here. And get rid of that guy. And then... He's right here, honey. Yeah, I can only get rid of that guy. That's all right. And then I, do have, I can bank this. Sure. I'll bank this for later. Okay. Okay. Nice work. So we still have six dice. We might have to start removing some of our bank dice. Okay. Your turn. We have two dice over here. Okay, so there's one and one. Equal number. Well, but first, before he goes, mm -hmm. he does his attack. He pushes you away. Okay. So you take one damage. All right. He uh, goes clockwise because you're tied. Okay. Mm-hmm. He gets a fame. That's... And a minion. Yep, and a minion. A oh, shield. darn it. Okay. Okay. Now, hang on. Okay. I need to get some hearts because I need to healing. All right, so you're going to roll your dice. I'm going to roll my dice. Let's see how I do here. Ooh, wow. lots wow. of attacks. And where are you at? But I'm here. Um, I really need a heart. I need how to be able to move. Five. Well, he has 12 life left. And so, um, maybe I should just roll for movement, keep a couple of those, and see if can, I can get over there. Yeah, I would keep three. You can destroy okay. the whole mess there. 
Hopefully. Not so yeah, much. You only need two if you can get over there. Nope. Well, well you get a, a fame. I get a fame and I get to get two hearts. Yeah, because of your, yep, my your allies. Ability. Five, six, seven. There we go. Otherwise, yeah. that was pretty yucky. Well, we can save dice. We can put this here. Well, I don't think we... We'll, we'll see, because he might move over there. Remember, we can take him off wherever we want. Okay, but you only have four dice to d roll then. That's Well, we'll be taking off dice from other places. We'll see where he goes. Okay. We can choose where from the island we want to uh, take black dice. Okay. Unfortunately, he's going to be rolling... Uh, he's not rolling anything. Did we forget to, to remove this? We must have... Okay, well, he did get a fame. And uh, which one was it? This one? Yeah. And he did get a minion. That's when he got the... Okay, that's when he got it? Yeah. So I guess we did do it. I just forgot to remove the die. I forgot to remove the die. Okay. Well, short-term memory left. <laughs> so this is where he's at. we got dice all over the place. He's probably going to be going here and pushing me away. Probably. Okay. Well, that's where it's it went. There. Uh, so he does attack me. I'm adjacent, so I'm yep. down to 5-2. Oh, gosh. And he pushes me away. Okay. Because of his power. Right. And he moves into here. Okay. Is there any... I'm hard, no minions, right? No minions. Mm -mm. Okay, so then now we do the dice. He's got three more. Now he's up to 10. Oh, jeez. And he gets one minion. He gets one minion. Okay, just a soldier. Okay, that's Now when bad. he has 10, let's yeah. see what he has here. Oh, gosh. What happens? Soldier minions can attack monsters in adjacent zones. That's Ooh. not good. He just got a soldier minion, too. Right, but at least it just generated. Right. Now, I need to remove two. Yes. I'm going to remove this one here. Okay. And this one. Okay. Okay? Yep. That way, if he moves around, we can use... No, that's smart. Use the attack. Okay. Hopefully, you can get a movement. Oh, good. You got a oh, flood. I did. I may want that healing. I'm going to take the healing because I'm down to five. Okay. Oh, good. And you can attack him. Okay, and then one more roll. Nice. Okay, so I am going to get a, as you call him, jello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move there. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. I use my ally to destroy that soldier. Very nice. Goes back in the bag. And then he gets two damage. Uh, no, he gets four. Or four damage. Yeah, so he's down to eight. Okay. And did you heal yourself too, sweetie? Yeah, I get two healing. I'm up to seven. Me he's too. Probably, he's probably going to attack me. So there you go. Okay. Two dice. Here we go. We go to the camera. Ready? Yep. Oh, so it came on this side of the island. Right here and here. Right. But the closest one is here. Now, he doesn't push me because I'm in the same square. Oh, okay, nice. But I do get... You need to get I a do, damage, though, right? I do right? get damaged one. Mm. He does move into here. Wrong guy, sweetie. Oh. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, he does move into here. There is no minions to activate. Nope. But he does get two more fame. And two minions to add to right. there. So let's take the dice off. Yep. So we don't forget. Ah, uh, so now you got a cannon there. I'm going to have to go over there and okay. get it. Hopefully. Right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Well, you got two attack. Okay, let's see if I can hopefully get a paw. Oh, we there did. we go. We roll those three again, so. Yes. Okay, well that's, you know what? You almost killed them. So, let me explain. Okay. So you you uh, you move. Yes. You do eight damage. That would have killed him, but he's got three here. So you only do five damage to oh. him. Oh. And so he's down to three. Nice. Should we save that or no, honey? Uh, Might as well, in case I go over there and when we want to make something appear. Okay. Uh, because we can see where he goes first. Does that give you enough dice? Or so? No, you're still missing well, a dice. Well, I'm going to take one off. We'll see where he goes. Oh, okay. That's my point. We don't have to decide now until I pick dice. Gotcha. Okay, so Me he... Two. Uh, now, when there's a tie, he, uh, goes, cl uh, he goes clockwise. He's coming to me. 
Uh, Are you going over me? That's it. So this is an interesting situation. Yeah. You're both ones. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no minions. Mm -mm. But he would go clockwise. So I guess he would stay here. So that's that's an interesting situation. So he wouldn't move into here? No, because there's no die there. He always goes where the boss oh, dies. So let me show gotcha. people. Okay. This is, I think, the most confusing part of the game. It is. And you always have to check yourself. Okay, so look at the boss's current zone mm -hmm. and the zones to either side, which we just did. We did. Of these three zones, move the boss to the one with the most, even if it's the zone with the most dice is in the one he's, he's in. Okay? So he can stay in the same zone and reactivate it. Okay, treat it as though they just move there. Oh. Okay, if there are no bosses, okay, that's not an issue. Otherwise, if multiple zones are tied for the most, Move the boss to the one with the most minions. If multiple zones are tied for the most minions, move the boss to the one that's furthest clockwise. So furthest clockwise would be me. Because he would, in a sense, this is clockwise. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be skipping stuff. I'd assume that's the way to do it. Because he doesn't go here. But why wouldn't he go there? It's the most dice. Because he only goes into adjacent to the adjacent zone. Oh, okay. okay. I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this would be the furthest clockwise right here. Right. All right, so he goes in there. Well, first off, he kicks me away. Does one damage to me. Did he do damage to me before he left? Uh, what is your, what's your health? Uh, seven. Okay, so he, so he hit. Oh, so he hits the one with the, the most health. You're right. Good job. So if we look again at his, his power... I'm glad you asked. I'm trying to remember everything here, and you're helping. I deal one damage to the monster with the most health in this adjacent zone. So you get hit because okay. you have the most, and you don't and you don't get because this is before he moves, and you don't get pushed out. Okay. However, he has flying soldiers, and did he? There's no. Oh yeah, there's no minions, so we're okay. But he does get two minions. Yep. And that's going to slow me down because I'm there at least. Yeah. And I can attack. Hopefully, him. you just get little soldiers and you can get rid of them right hopefully away. Hopefully, there's no shield. I know. Oh, little soldiers. Good, good, good. Well, I'll be able to kill them, hopefully. Yes, you will. Okay, I'm going to take, take a, that. a wrench. Yeah. You know what? We'll save the wrench. Okay. I don't think he's going to move too. He can move back here. I'll take okay. an attack there. Sounds good. So he's going to go anywhere. He's going to go here or, or, True. or there. True. True. And that wrench, we can get a, a support. That's what they're called. Hopefully we get rid of them before then. Uh, they're called, yeah, support. Okay. Well, well I, think, then. I think the game might be over here soon. Uh, I don't need to heal. One more. There you go. Okay. So I get rid of this soldier with my ally. Okay. I get rid of this soldier with my foot. Okay. And I do two, four, six, seven, so he's gone. Yay! So that's Yay. easy. It's pretty easy. Now you know why they give. <laughs> I don't know how easy that was. We well, all... look. We 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 know in the regular King of Tokyo. Sometimes you don't go for these cards because it's just. Mm -hmm. I mean, look. If we wrote a bunch of energy, then you take it. But for us. The idea is to kill him as quick as right, possible. Right, right. So, and that's what we did. Yep. So stay tuned for the next video. We're going to play the hardest one. Uh, and this one is going to be uh, in our next video. The Lava Lord. Oh, my gosh. And we'll see if we can survive this. Oh, Eight dice. My gosh. 35 health. <laughs> Let's see what it's. Heat aura. Before moving, deal one damage to all monsters in my zone. Okay. Not That's too bad. not too bad. When he gets one fame, though, after I move, I trigger heat aura. So he'll do it again. Oh, brother. So I think we're going to be taking lots of damage. I think we are, too. All right. Well, so we're going to try that. All right. And see what happens. Because easy is easy. Mm -hmm. And we want to at least show you what it's like to play the hardest mode uh, for those of you who might think there's not enough challenging. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. We'll see you in the next uh, battle here. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.